Do you lean one way or the other? Or does it depend on some type of scenario? Yeah. Um, I kind of like, I mean, there's a range, but I kind of like the middle <laughs> just because it's it's safe. I don't like to see people trying to peg the top end of the zone because that's a little bit risky because um, we want to stay once you cross over that line, once you cross above your aerobic threshold, that first threshold, we're, de we're completely defeating the purpose of the session. We are starting to utilize more carbs than fat. It's going to be a lot more taxing than it needs to be. And we're not training what we're intending to train. So I like to keep it kind of my magic number would be like around 65% of FTP for the most part just because it's hard enough to where you're going to be getting some good gains out of it, but it's not, we're not hitting that limit to where we might be crossing over. Mm -hmm. But then of course you also have to look at the terrain as well. So <laughs> in North Carolina, there's certain climbs where I'm going to have to be up, up towards like 75% of FTP when I'm hitting 10% grades. Um, and then Obviously, you have to look at the level of the athlete as well. If they live in a really hilly place, um, you know, and they might not be as fit as somebody else, it might be really hard for them to keep it in zone two, um, which is just kind of the way it is. But and it also depends on the time of year as well. So I think during base season, I like to ride maybe a little bit higher in zone two especially if you're more limited for time because we can do more work we can burn more calories and train the fatigue resistance to a greater extent um if somebody has if somebody's able to do more high volume training then i think it's better to go a little bit easier but as you approach the season and the build phase i i like polarizing it more so we want to make sure that you're really fresh heading into those high intensity sessions so the goal isn't really to do a ton of work or a ton of calories. The goal is to really get the most out of the, the high intensity. So at that point, I like to back down the endurance um, to more lower end of zone two so that you're more fresh to hit those high intensity sessions. And I mean, you're still going to get tons of benefit from that. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, it's you made a good point about the tempo early on and i think for newer listeners i i want to second that big time because tempo is fun it's fast fun and it gets to a point where there are definitely athletes as they get fitter they're like oh well, i rode kind of more tempo today and i still feel good and you do it again you do it again. it's not like a couple tempo sessions are going to wreck things but i have definitely seen in myself and in i have two athletes right now that i'm they're relatively newer and working with me and i'm and i'm begging them to stop making these endurance rides tempo rides and i've seen over like an eight to 12 week period where it really flattens people out if they do too much tempo and two of these guys kind of bought into it and are more doing actual endurance rides and now their harder rides are harder and setting prs and it's it, it intuitively to me it's like yeah it's not really that big of a difference but it really matters it really matters so i definitely want to second that it, it it's still shocks me at the difference in how much harder you can go when you really keep the easy days easy.